Hey, good morning. I'm Phil Schaus. I'm here at House of David Studios in Nashville, Tennessee on Music Row. Enjoying a great Saturday. Hope you're having a great day as well. Hopefully you could, uh, you were around Facebook last night and you checked out the uh, J Rocket pedal party that we had here. He had a whole toy box full of pedals and me and the guys had a great time. That's everything. It's a great company. Local here to Nashville. Check them out, J Rocket. Well, luckily, Chris was kind enough to leave us two pedals here today. Come this way. I'll show you what the pedals are. Got the 45 caliber in glittery gold and the Archer in matte silver right here. And uh, they're both in the Distortion Overdrive family. Um, I picked these two together because they play very well with each other. They're great on their own, but you can combine the two to get some really, really great hot and not hot tones. Very cool. So I'm gonna get this coffee. I'm gonna get this coffee cup washed. We're gonna get started. All right. So today, Fender Deluxe Reverb. Fender's a new, brand new company out of California. Um, making guitars and amps, something called the Stratocaster. Um, you should check them out. This amp's fantastic. Uh, it belongs to Brandon Henniger, the mastermind engineer here. He got it for an insanely cheap price. It pisses me off when I tell you, when he tells me about it, I'm not gonna do it. Amp sounds great. So the amp is set at uh, EQs at 12, uh, treble five, bass five, and volumes at three. Uh, we're going through this first frameless guitar then we're going to switch this vintage Strat here. So, frameless guitar, I'll be using Phil Schaus's fingers the whole time. Uh, cable uh, into the Archer first, 45 second, into the amp, into the Shure SM57 microphone. That's all you need. And right into the API console. So, that's the signal flow. Kiss my grits. Here we go. Got my guitar on 10, that's clean sound, right? So, to start off, I'm gonna set all my knobs at 12 o'clock on both pedals. Here's the 45. Let's add some brightness, add some treble, take away the hair bass. Add a little more bass in there, more treble. Let's see how we are in Unity Game. So even at 12 o'clock, uh, you're a little bit louder. So we'll back it off a little bit. That's closer. Uh, so the gain is at 12. Let me turn the gain down. See what happens. It's obviously Malcolm Young. Um, the top end is still crisp and present. Let me get some more volume and turn the gain down further. The character of the amp is still there, with this just kind of... I don't know. It's not like it's covering anything up. It's, it's, it's just uh, ex uh, accentuating the sound of the natural of the amplifier itself. So... So now that we're kind of on a low gain setting here on the 45, let's add the Archer to see what we can get. We're going to try to get like a lead boost here. So here's the... Uh... That's both. That sounds killer. Uh, so let's take the 45 out. Here's, char here's the Archer. Ooh! At 12 o'clock it sounds awesome. Here's clean. Yeah! 
That sounds great. Uh, so let's turn the gain down just to see what's going on and the volume up. What happens? <laughs> Rad, here's 45. Now both pedals are on and you can still hear my volume drop. That's kind of cool. My favorite clean tone to get is kind of a dirty amp with, with some pedals on that are going to boost your high end. Uh, and it's from the guitar volume down. And it still has a lot of clarity. You can go from that to scream. Fantastic. So let's uh, let's boost this 45. What I'm doing is I'm kind of using the 45 as my distortion sound, and I'm looking at the Archer as my uh, overdrive. Let's boost this guy. <laughs> Good thing about the 45, it seems like wherever you put the knobs, you, you, you really have a good tone. Um, I'm really digging it. It's a good EQ, very sensitive EQ. Um, I've still got uh, kind of a lot of, you know, I'm like uh, just like about 11.30 in the bass, 2 o'clock in the treble. Let's try the other way. Let's see what the Archer sounds like as a distortion, and we'll dial in a boost sound for the 45. Oops. Man, that sounds good. So they can be used that way too. So let me go ahead and turn the gain down on the Archer. Gain is on zero. Well, it's off now. Check this out. That is nice. If you just want kind of a kind of a not really a boost. Oh, that's more treble in there. Not really a boost, but just uh, something to make your amp clearer and kind of just more there. That sounds fantastic. Here's off. Got it. Where's John Karabi? Sorry. That sounds so good. I hope it sounds as good out there as it does in this room. That's a great setup. So I'm going to turn 
The 45 down. Oh, yeah, we got a pretty low. Ah, it's ripping! Good God, it's awesome. Well, the same thing with with the gain on zero. It doesn't cut, it doesn't kill the pedal. Um, it just turns the gain low. The Archer seems to be a hotter pedal in nature. Um, the 45 is a bit smoother for that. Uh, yeah, I'd use the Archer for like a boost for sure. This is so good. This is great. Super crisp, even at the gain on nothing. Fantastic. Great. Anywhere you move these knobs, they're great. They work well together and separate. So J Rocket, I applaud you. Nice work, guys. Um, and they're a local company. They're located here in Nashville. And um, like I said, J Archer, 45 caliber. Hopefully you'll get some close-ups of these too so you can look for them in your local music store, wherever you may live. Anyway, I think that does it for this uh, episode of Gear Demo Pedal Extravaganza House of David Part 4. I don't know where we are. Anyway, my name is Phil. So I'm going to turn both of these on. I'm going to open them wide up and see what we can do here. Oh.